I'm Joanne Egan, I'm um, a senior lecturer in physical geography and my research area is something called quaternary science. I'm really interested in past natural hazards, so volcanic eruptions, hurricanes, tsunamis. I want to know what the impact was on the environment and I also want to know what evidence there is out there of these different events. In our lifetime, we haven't had many huge eruptions. We've had eruptions like Mount St. Helens in the 1980s, which have been really big events, but they haven't been anything in comparison to, say, Yellowstone National Park. They haven't been anything in comparison to Mount Mazama. Mount Mazama erupted about 7,600 years ago and it was a huge eruption in comparison to Mount St. Helens, for example. And this eruption caused the, um, the caldera to fall into itself and created what is now known as Crater Lake. The amount of volcanic ash that was ejected from this particular eruption covered much of the Pacific Northwest of North America. And it's even been found as far as Newfoundland and also Greenland as well. And there are some suggestions that it may even be found in Europe. But those deposits that are found in Europe are known as something called cryptotephras. So in Oregon, the volcanic ash that we find there is visible to the naked eye. But in places like Europe, you won't be able to see those volcanic ash layers. They'll be invisible to the naked eye. And so this is a form of cryptotephra, which is what we want to try and extract. The research that I'm currently doing, and that I also have a research assistant working with me with, is to look for cryptotephra in sediment cores from um, a lake, which is actually in Washington. You can see the Mount Mazama ash. You can also see some um, ash from Glacier Peak, which is also in Washington. But considering how many volcanoes there are in the Cascades, I'd be surprised if there haven't been any other volcanic ash deposits in that area. That is what we're trying to do. We're going to see if we can extract any cryptotephra and then we can identify it, try and figure out which volcano it's actually come from. And then we can hopefully try and date the sediments around that time to see exactly when that eruption might have occurred.